Hey everyone, Zef here. Welcome to Mindset Overview. This is coming from Carbon Studios, which kind of means they're changing in app because normally they're in charge of just action and adventure games. I believe this was revealed and the latest upload VR showcase. Pretty much the situation is that we have either the meta one and the upload one. So if they compete with each other or not, at least we have two sources of information. Who's better? Who cares? <laughs> like, at least we as gamers win here. So Mindset is an adventure puzzle hand tracking game where you need to unravel the mystery of your past, handing various sized cogs to put into the cubes, activate some stuff, connect the dots and take on an intellectual challenge for yourself. I know the focus is on the actual puzzle you have in front of you to solve, but straight out of the gate I don't necessarily like the environments used. They not only look low quality, but even watching the trailer I can see the jacked edges and textures just not being very polished, which is a surprise because this studio is known for some pretty good skills in terms of the art style and the graphical department. It's gonna be a puzzle game but with a full on narration and the storyline, which is kind of new because normally the devs would just compile few sets of challenges to solve and that's about it, but here we'll be able to discover some kind of campaign while handling the cube. I see some cogs, I see some buttons, I can't really pinpoint to any real life type of puzzle. If it looks complicated or not, not really sure, because I don't see like the goal where the cogs should connect and how it transfers to the other side. So we'll see what's gonna be the dynamic. Hand tracking at this point is pretty much polished and it's gonna work better than my nowadays controllers that just have so many problems that I'm just waiting for the quest free release because it's a pure struggle to record stuff so let's go chill ourselves <laughs> oh okay there's a bunch of backstory and stuff Mr. Winslow can you hear me Mr. Winslow, can you hear me? What? Who's talking? Oh good, you're connecting. My name is Tara Moreau. I'll be your guide. Can you hear me clearly, Mr. Winslow? Just Jack, what is this place? How did I get here? Where are you? Calm down, Jack. You were in a plane crash. A plane crash? Am I dead? Are you a ghost or something? Where am I? You're alive, just in a coma. If you... Just in a coma? Is this, like, s some sort of dream? Yes, but don't worry. If you work with me, I will guide you out of it. Wait, how is that possible? A lot to tell. There will be time for that later. Jack, there should be a big cube lying nearby. Do you see it? Yeah, I can. Is it supposed to be doing something? <laughs> we'll have to find out. But let's first talk about what's happening here around. Not only the resolution is shit, like it's <laughs> the Grid Legends level of bad, but also the textures are garbage. Like, there's nothing redeeming about this. <laughs> like, at all. <laughs> I don't know how it would be even approved for a proper release, but apparently it's all about the puzzle. <laughs> Not well it should be, but whatever. So we have spinning cogs. We can turn the cube. I guess this is the point of the game here to activate like cogs that have a power button, I guess. Clearly too small. Aha, okay. That's how they transfer by this... I don't know what, how to call it. To the edges that will spin other stuff. Whoa, what is happening? The cube is... activated. I'm sorry if I startled you. I always forget to warn the listener before launching artifacts. 
Most importantly, it's working. Tara, can you tell me something more about the artifacts? Is this your design? No. Each artifact works and looks different for each listener. In that case, why are you using cubes with rollers and gears? It's your idea. I create them? Not completely. I cannot say anything more about it, because it's part of your memories and you have to discover it by yourself. Excellence at chess is one mark of a scheming mind. I mean... I don't see this correlation between the storyline and the puzzle. It's like an excuse, kind of, to put all together. I don't understand why the registration is so bad, like... It almost reminds me of the... How was it called? This environmental puzzle where you would just put pieces together. That doesn't explain much, but... So some cocks are unnecessary, okay. Interesting. <laughs> that funny? Yes. You were the first person to say that about me. I'm in the same room, if that's what you mean. Hmm. How do I look? Hmm. Let me think. Tall. Skinny. Covered in IVs and electrodes. After the accident, do I look normal? I'd give you an 8 out of 10, if it weren't for the cables and hospital gown. <laughs> that's pretty low. <laughs> <laughs> The readings tell me you've managed to solve the artifact. Tell me what you see. I'm thinking about the company. Can I reveal sensitive information about it? I have full authorization from your boss, Mr. McLean. I would not be able to contact you without it. Is he nearby? No, he couldn't be here. Only I am here. Back on topic. This warehouse, it's for the company. No, that's unrelated. I just wanted to make sure I can freely talk about it. You have nothing to fear. It's only you and me, with no third party listening in. We must be honest with each other. Only in this way will I be able to help you. I guess it's like dripping information for us. What happened and stuff. But the environments get worse. <laughs> like, I don't know how is it impossible. What's this? Something to transfer the cog? Ah, okay. That's pretty clever. Hand tracking works perfectly. There's nothing I can say bad about it. Like, I guess at this point, it's just a fully realized technology. Not like for high action intensity stuff, but like for puzzles, it's perfect. Am I really alone here? Yes, no one else is here. And the birds singing, crabs running around, rabbits hopping in the clearing. It's all your imagination. And you, are you also my imagination? Are you saying I'm the guide of your dreams? You flatterer. Yeah, you're right. If I had to imagine a guide, it'd be a grumpy old lady who would not let me touch the exhibits. <laughs> Opposite of me. Am I doing something wrong? Not at all. It's so strange. What is? That my mind is a mystery to me. I've always looked for answers to every question and... Now I know nothing. At 
first, memories are enigmatic and difficult to guess. Later, the crucial ones will become clear and lead the way. Trust me, just be patient. So far it's very easy, like the puzzles. Oh, but we have something new. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Huh? Aha, uh -huh, okay. But I need to activate somehow the top one. <laughs> okay, I don't have time to figure this out, but I see what's going on. If not for the very, very bad graphics, the game would be decent, I feel like. But we have to judge the whole package, like it's not just the pure mechanics of hand tracking and showcasing this technology. Every box needs to be checked out to <laughs> sell your product. If you close your eyes and just focus on the puzzle, then maybe that's enough, but <laughs> the rest seems like an afterthought. The dialogues and the storyline, there might be a little bit interesting. After every puzzle and even before you get some small information of what have happened. So if you're like a storyline junkie with puzzle brain, <laughs> then this might be for you. I'm sure they will get complicated and stuff like that. In the beginning it's relatively easy, even though I got blocked now. <laughs> the problem however is the file size because it's like what, 4 gigabytes or something? For what? <laughs> like there's nothing to justify that size at all, like I don't get it? Hand tracking wise everything is pretty much perfect like no losing connection, no just weird pinches or anything of the sort like at this point it's pretty much how it should be and the developers can create games around that. I don't think I'm very much interested in playing more of this despite the environments like whatever sometimes you can pass that but I think it's just a specific niche that I'm not really that into. So if you judge the whole thing, it's below average I feel like because this is just unacceptable to me. <laughs> but the puzzles are okay. 